Hello, welcome to this music and movement session based on Shakespeare's classic comedy, A Midsummer Night's Dream. We're doing five sessions in all, built around the themes and characters of the play and using music associated with those themes. We'll have mostly seated exercises for you. There will be some standing versions later on in the session, but always with a seated alternative that you can do if you prefer. All you need is some comfortable clothing and a little bit of space to move around. So if you're ready, then I'll be playing the piano for you in my home and Louisa and Rosa will be leading exercises from their home and we hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, welcome to week three of Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, we're going to begin with a bit of a warm-up today, but we're going to do something slightly different for our warm-up. We'll have a little bit of an opportunity for you to improvise and create your own movement um, based on an idea, okay? So before we get into that, let's just have a little ch uh, posture, posture check to begin with. So give yourselves a little bit of a wiggle in your chair and checking you've got a space between your back and the back of the chair so you can support yourself sitting up nice and tall and feeling those seat bones pressing down through the chair nice and grounded. Checking our feet are in our parallel position and our feet haven't travelled under our chair or under our legs. We've got that nice 90 degree angle, imagining our, our knees have got lights on, they're pointing forward, our toes have got lights on which are pointing forward and our hips have got lights on which are pointing forward, so everything is nicely in line. And then thinking about our upper body, so pulling up through your spine, feeling like we've got that string attaching us to the ceiling. Lovely, feeling that space between each vertebrae and then feeling that sensation of your shoulder blades pressing down your back. So really letting gravity take your shoulder blades down your back. So there's that opposition of pulling up to the ceiling and pulling down towards the floor in your body. Okay, good. Just give your head a little bit of a shake, making sure you're not holding any tension in your body. Now for our warm up this week, as I said, there will be an opportunity for you to have a little bit of play, a play with some movement that you'd like to explore. Um, but we're all going to be thinking about the same theme. So, as you know, and we've looked at, we've got this love potion that is um, given to some of the characters in Midsummer Night's Dream. And we are going to think about that love potion for this warm up and we're going to take some different potions actually, so not just our love potion, and it's going to have different effects on our body. So we'll work through some different sensations and I will let you know what is happening to your body and you can then respond with movement in that way but I will do some too so you can follow along with me if you prefer but it's an opportunity for you to have a go at doing something as well and creating your own movement with this idea. So we're all going to start by mixing this potion in front of us together as a group so you're gonna, imagining you've got a big pot a big cauldron type thing in front of you and we're going to have give it a good mix around so you're really reaching your hands out in front of you giving it a good mix and let's go the other way making sure that's all mixed in together good and let's take a little bit of a sip so imagining you're getting your spoon and you're taking a little bit of a sip of that potion good and to begin with this potion is making us really sleepy. So what do you do when you're normally very tired and just having a bit of a play around with some movement? It can be yawning or stretching or having a bit of a snooze to one side. Whatever you want to do.
already, the effects of the potion have started wearing off, so let's come back. And Yasmin, having a sip. And this one, you're imagining you've got lots of electricity coming out of your body, so you can respond in whatever way that makes you think. So you can be sharp movements, angular movements in any direction. You can use your legs. just opening the legs thinking about the pot cauldron in front of you so we reach across on the top shelf on this side take a jar something powdery so we're gonna really shake it so we're gonna go one two three four five six maybe seven or six <laughs> we're gonna take the other arm reach on the top shelf that thing that we're gonna dip rat tail whatever it is dip and up We'll do sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then we did from lower down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grinding, one and two. And then we take the jar. So quite specific if you are okay thinking about like you holding it, but we're gonna take it that way so it's a bit awkward so that we can really dip the whole thing around. So we're gonna go. Good. Then we did two big slow stirrings and then we'll go four faster. We're going to scoot that foam off, push it to the side and the first round we'll just did little steam coming up following that with our hand. And then we'll go again reaching same thing across, turn the jar and we'll go duck, 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 reach across. And we're going to dip down and up. And we did sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll go grind and grind. And again, that awkward big jar, pff, empty. 
And then in the end, we have just sort of time to do two or three up, up. You'll hear the music and we'll try to hit the button, the lid on in the final. Okay, let's do that with some music. Getting ready. We're going to reach. Bring your hands up 
to your face to shadow you from him, throw your hands up to the sky as if to say, what's going on? And then you're going to bring your tears are going to fall to the side of you here, okay? So let's do that section again with Lysander waking up and Helena's reaction to his love. So we're stretching, reaching, 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 bringing your hands to your chest, one and two, and throw your heart to Helena. Helena's going, oh, push away, bring hands into face, reaching up and crying to the side, okay? So Helena's upset because she loves Demetrius and she wanted Demetrius to love her back, but now Lysander is, in love with her and um, so it all gets quite confusing <laughs> from there we go back to our puck um, movement so puck realizes that he's made the wrong man fall in love with helena so he's got to administer some love potion to demetrius so we're coming back to our one and two fluttering our, our arms and we're going to grab a flower from the other side this time so using the hand you didn't use before grabbing a flower smelling it scooping that love potion into it and dropping it, showing the magic coming off of it with the other hand, circling all around behind you, coming back to your thigh, and we'll pour the love potion into Demetrius's eyes and bring your hand back down, okay, to your thigh. So that's all exactly the same, we're just using a different hand to um, pick our flower. So then Demetrius is going to wake up, okay, and the first person that he sees as well is Helena in the play. Um, so we're going to, with Demetrius, rub our eyes as if we're just waking up. Rub our eyes and we're kind of twisted to one side again, rubbing our eyes. And then you see Helena and you're going to um, gesture around your face to say, you're beautiful. Okay, so that's sweeping your arm across your face, coming around it, lifting up. And then you're going to reach for her hand and give her a kiss on the hand, so, and coming up. All right, so that's Demetrius' section. And then Helena is going to say, Lysander, Demetrius, look back to the front, shrug your shoulders, you don't know what's going on, and then your arms are going to come down, lift all the way up, keep going behind, and you're going to end up with your head in your hands, okay? So let's do that from Demetrius waking up. So he's rubbing his eyes and saying, you're beautiful, and taking Helena's hand, giving her a kiss. And Helena's saying, Lysander, Demetrius, looking back, shoulder shrug, arms lifting up, and head into hands to finish. <laughs> okay, so that's quite a lot of movement. We will only do that section today. Um, and we will add on to it next week because we've got another half of, a sec a half of an exercise to go where lots more confusion happens. <laughs> um, can you believe it? So we will try what we've done today with some music a couple of times through, just so we get it in our body, and add on to it next week, okay? So finding your feet, making sure your feet are in parallel position, finding that lovely tall spine, remembering we're beginning with that puck movements to start with okay so let's just try it here we go flapping your arms and reaching smell skip drop watching that magic come off of the flower and pouring into lysander's eyes lysander waking up
Sitting out nice and tall, hands down by our side. Here we are. Here we go with puck, floating your arms. And reach, smell, scoop, drop. Watching the magic come off of that flower. And pull, pull. Good, by sound of waking up. Hands to heart and feet, feet and throat. Head of the shot. There are three storylines in Midsummer Night's Dream, three different worlds which interact very cleverly and a bit bizarrely. Uh, last time we looked at the love tangle between two couples, uh, Helena and Demetrius and Hermia and Lysander. Nobody is in love with the right person among those couples and that's, that's part of the fun of the play. Now we're going to look at the second storyline, which focuses on the world of the fairies, this other world, which is ruled over by a king and queen, Oberon and Titania, whose argument gives rise to a lot of the mischief and craziness that ensues in the play. So Shakespeare introduces us to this world with a fairy song which is actually sung in the play by one of Titania's train. Sometimes Puck, the mischievous sprite who serves Oberon, gets to sing this song in some productions. So we're going to do the first few lines of this song. We'll give a gesture to each line, and then we're going to try out singing it to a famous tune. We're going to try singing it to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star, which I hope everybody knows. We have to tweak it a little bit just by repeating the first two lines of music, otherwise it fits fairly well. So let's start by going through the lines. I will say a line and give it a gesture and you say it back to me and then we'll sing through it and see how that goes. Okay, so the first line is over hill, over dale. And the gesture we'll give to that is over hill, over dale. So let's say that and do that gesture together. Ready? And over hill, over dale. Excellent. And now the next line is thorough bush, thorough briar. Thorough being the old way of saying through. Thorough bush, thorough briar. And we'll give that this gesture as though we're forcing our way through the undergrowth. So, ready and thorough bush, thorough briar. Excellent. Third line is over park, over pale. Pale being part of a fence. So, our gesture for this could be the broad expanse of a park and then something solid to suggest a fence. So let's say over park, over pale, ready, and over park, over pale. And just to finish that section, thorough flood, thorough fire. And your turn, thorough flood, thorough fire. And we'll do a swimming sort of gesture for the flood. Thorough flood and suggests crackling flames for thorough fire. Thorough fire. Let's just go through all those and then we'll put on the last couplet. So we start with over hill, over dale. Ready? Over hill, 
over dale, thorough bush, thorough briar, thorough bush, thorough briar, over park, over pale, over park, over pale, thorough flood, thorough fire, thorough flood, thorough fire. Excellent. And now for the last few lines, and they are, I do wander everywhere. So let's do a looking around at all the places the fairy wanders. I do wander everywhere and I do wander everywhere. Swifter than the moon's sphere. So we'll have a little bit of fairy wing action going for swifter, swifter than the moon's sphere to suggest the moon. Let's do that line. And swifter than the moon's sphere. And finally, the last couplet is, I do serve the fairy queen. And so we'll do a little crown movement for the queen. I do serve the fairy queen and I do serve the fairy queen. And the last line, to dew her orbs upon the green. And what that seems to mean is placing the dew on the flowers. So let's do that action to place those little balls of dew upon the petals of the flowers, to dew her orbs upon the green, and to dew her orbs upon the green. Excellent. Now we're going to try and sing through that. So follow me and we'll just see how we go. Let's just go at it and sing out. And if you don't want to follow my gestures, that's fine. Do your own dance. I'm sure it will be beautiful. So we're going to start with Over Hill, Over Dale to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, here we go. And over hill, over dale, thorough bush, thorough briar, thorough bush, thorough briar. Over park, over pale, over park. Over pale, thorough flood, thorough fire, thorough flood, thorough fire. I do wander everywhere. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere, swifter than the moon's sphere. And I serve the fairy queen. And I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green. To dew her orbs upon the green. Lovely fairy singing, thank you very much. Okay, so before we come up to standing, we're just going to do a quick free foot. Um, I'm just going to have my chair slightly sideways to you so you can hopefully see my feet. Um, a little better for what I'm doing this week in our free foot um, and it's loosely based on uh, donkey because as you know one of the labourers in um, Midsummer Night's Dream who's rehearsing for the play in the woods gets turned into a donkey by um, one of the fairies and the, the queen of the fairies Titania ends up falling in love with him as a donkey so he's bottom and he turns into a donkey and we'll be looking at Titania and his, his love affair um, in the plie. But for now, uh, we'll just do a little bit of a free foot with a little bit of a donkey twist on it. Um, so sitting up nice and tall, making sure your feet are in parallel position so we've got a good stable stance to begin with. Feeling your shoulders dropping down your back, so nice and heavy and your spine pulling up to the ceiling nice and tall. Okay, let's begin. Right, we're starting with eight quick walks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punisher, Punisher, other leg leading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punisher, Punisher. Now we're gonna take a brush 
and drop. The brushing one. which is based on uh, Titania and Bottom, uh, the donkey, has been turned into donkey. Um, and this is a sort of slightly challenging uh, because the, the music is interesting. And he has done a little mashup for us. So we're going to think about the donkey part and then uh, the fairy part here. So we're going to start in a parallel um, behind the chair and there will be a seated version as well. So you can follow that if you don't want to stay standing. So finding that nice posture here again, we're going to start uh, being uh, the fairy, so Titania. We're going to take our magic wand and we're going to start with four little taps. We're going to go one, two, three and four. We're going to take a plie, really slow, nice plie here. And then we're going to do a little circle spreading our fairy dust in front of us. Placing the hands back to the chair, we're going to take a rise again, finding that centre with control lowering down. And then we're just going to do one tap, so you can do your magic pointy uh, finger to do a little spell with that hand there. Then we're going to uh, change into donkey gear. So we're just going to do a, a quick little hand like you would do your donkey ear and down. So it's going to go up and down. And then the donkey is going to do a plie as well. So we're going to go plie, slightly faster tempo. And then we're going to do a little donkey brush with the foot. So it's like you're going to shift your weight and think about scooping your foot up and down. And if that's, so from this side it would look like that. And if that's not okay, so you can just try to maybe tap your toes and back. Should do a little toe tap and back. So we're gonna go plie and sweep, but without leaning forward, so keeping that core engaged here. And we're gonna do that again and change the other side or tap and in. So we do our four fairy magic taps. We'll take a plie, being the fairy first. We'll do fairy dust. We're gonna rise. And we're going to do a little plie. 
and we're gonna change into donkey gear here. One plie and scoop and plie and sweep the foot up, down. Changing back to a fairy, we're gonna go one plie just like we did, fairy dust, but now we're gonna do four taps. So we're gonna tap to the side, tap to the side, tap to the side, tap to the side. Then we're gonna turn back into being the donkey. So we're gonna think about like you would um, show your tail. So we're gonna do a little swing with the arm, think about that as, it, as your tail, and then we're gonna swing back and show our ear here. We're gonna change the hand back to the um, chair. We're gonna swing, showing our tail, and then showing our ear, and hands to the uh, chair. Then the donkey plies here are gonna be quite sharp, so we're gonna go one, and two, and up, two. Again, one, two, and up, two. So, then we're gonna take, take a little balance here. So if you're okay, we're gonna do a like a tandem step. So we're gonna, like you'll be on a tightrope. We're gonna step one foot in front, but please do hold your chair here if you like. If that's too much, too wobbly, then just stepping, having a little gap between your feet. But if you're okay, we're gonna step in front and we're gonna first have a donkey balance. So if you're okay, you may wanna bring one hand as an ear and maybe another as an ear. So it's quite slow, we'll have time here. Take the hands down, step back, and then we're gonna change. We're gonna come into a similar sort of tandem balance. You're trying to keep your weight evenly on your feet. And this time we're gonna be a fairy, so you can do a little bit of sort of fairy wings flapping here with that second balance. Or keep your hands on the chair and just try to sort of test your balance here, because it is surprisingly hard. We're gonna come back into the parallel into our donkey plie, so we're gonna go again, one and two and up, and again two, stages down and two, up. And then we'll turn back into our fairy. So like we did in the beginning, slow plie, and then we're gonna do our fairy dust. We're gonna rise up, lower down, and we're gonna do our little magic finger making a spell or something. <laughs> then we're gonna go third plie this time. We're gonna show how much we love the donkey from our heart reaching out. And then that's gonna turn back into the donkey. So we're gonna do back the sweep your tail and your ear change. We're gonna sweep tail to ear. And then we're gonna finish. You can take your hands back to the chair quite specific. So we're going to do a little scoop and then tap the ball of the foot and scoop and tap. So I'll show this way. So we're going to go do a little scoop and tap and scoop and tap. Trying to do that. Or step. You can also do a little scoop and step. I will try to do the scoop and ball of the foot finished. That is quite a lot. Let's try that with some uh, crazy music that Nia's uh, created for us. It's fun. Ending behind the chair. We'll do all four. Thank you. 
do our forest uh, exercise standing, but simplify it a little bit. So it's like a march exercise. So we'll think about again, Hermia, Lysander, Helena and uh, Demetrius all going into the woods. So we start uh, with sort of four um, slower, sneaky marches. And there will be a seated version as well, or if you want to stand and hold your chair, so you can also do that and then um, do the arms, one arm, or keep your feet on the, uh, your hands on the, on the chair. So we'll start with four, sneak, march, look around. And so basically your legs are just going to keep marching and we'll do some wider marches but the rhythm just stays so if you just think about keep the legs going with that beat you should be fine so we're going to go four marches and here we're going to first go look one side four and then we're going to wave three four so we're going to go one two three four and wave two three Four. I'm going to take this into the arabesque arms. So same that, like we did with the CT version. We're just going to keep the arms going. Three, four. Keep your legs going as you pull. Then we go to the second side. Look. Three, four. Wave. Two, three, four. We're going to go arabesque. Three, four. So the legs just keep going. Okay. So that's the first part. Then we're going to come into that signature sequence movement but we'll simplify that obviously for standing so the legs are just going to keep going so when we do that first part again so we go one two three four and wave and take it into your arabesque arms and pull second side we look two three four and wave and the legs are just going to keep going pull we're going to take that into a wider march if you like so if it's too much just keep your feet going if you're okay we're going to open open in in open open in keep that we're going to go one and second one we're going to go da, da. let's do that again this time open open as you close we're gonna add that ta, and tap once more Keep it going, ta, ta. and then the legs are just going to keep going. So we're going to do one, open, open, in, in, open, open, tap. We're going to shake the mud from our hands this time. Again, we're going to go open, open, in, in, open, open, tap. Keep the legs going, we're going to listen. So you just keep the march going through out so we're going to go four hands in front and we're going to look back into your open open in in this time tap to go second side and we look the legs keep going open open in in open open tap so that they can just keep going if you don't want to go the open open in in we'll just keep going throughout so is only the arms are gonna that are gonna do something. As we come into that, so we're gonna do four, and we're gonna look, and then we're gonna do our signature in between. So to the second side. After that, so then as you saw last time, going open, open, in, in, open, open, clap, clap. Then we're gonna just take that into a sort of shift of your weight. We're gonna try and keep stay low. So first we're going to swing low, four, and then we're going to take that up, up, really work through your legs, we're going to go low, low. So almost going to think about that you're going to go through the vegetation, sometimes you've got to reach high and sometimes you're going to go low. So you're going to go four, low, we just keep going this so you can get into like a nice so just swingy movement, but really work through your legs. So we're gonna down, tap, down, tap to build the strength in our legs as well. And then we'll just finish with that. Oh, let's do that with some music. Thank you. 
And this time, this is having an effect on the temperature in the room, and all of a sudden, it's getting very cold. So how do you move if it starts getting cold? If you start rubbing your hands together, getting nice and smooth, trying to keep teeth, maybe. Ooh, trying to keep it really nice and warm. to get very hot in the room all of a sudden. So maybe you're unwrapping those layers that you've just put on, maybe you've got some gloves on and you're taking those off. Uh, maybe you're starting to sweat a bit from the heat. And imagine the sun is really shining down on you now. So would you normally try and find some shelter under a tree canopy, or do you normally quite enjoy the heat and like to relax in the sunshine? Maybe a bit of a sunbather, feeling that sunshine on your skin, warming everything up. And let us all come together and have a brush across our chest, feeling the sunshine pressing that heat onto our skin. One, two, three. And let's do that again. One, two, three, brush. And last time, one, two, three, brush. Good. And the effects are starting to wear off for the last time. Now, good. Let's just take a roll through our shoulders together. Nice. Taking that nice and slowly. Unwinding and then lifting up through our arms, pressing the air away, lifting up. Let's do that twice and lifting up. And once more, lifting up. And floating your arms down onto your thighs. And let's just close our eyes today and let all of that experience exploring in our own movement, just settle. So just really relaxing, letting go of any tension, maybe in your jaw, in your arms, in your neck, just really feeling like you're relaxed now. We've come to the end of the class. And when you're ready, and you're feeling like that's all settled down, just open your eyes. Good. Well done, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming along to the session this week. We will be back with more Midsummer Night's Dream next week. So we hope to see you there.